Since I'm a huge Marvel fan, especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I mean, who isn't out there? Who isn't? I mean, there's tons of people. <laughs> tons of people are fans of the MCU. And of course, I'm one of them, and I'm here to do a tier list, one of the most maybe overdone things on YouTube and Twitch. So yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to rank all 20, 25, 25, I would say 25 MCU properties because we're going to include WandaVision and we're going to include uh, Falcon Winter Soldier on this list. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's rank the MCU, baby. Ooh, do I want to start with the one that's listed first here? Iron Man? Yeah, let's just start with Iron Man because that's the first, that's the first one we got. That's the first one we like. They kicked off the MCU with Robert Downey Jr. making a comeback. <laughs> so yeah, so Iron Man, man, like, I think when the first Iron Man came out, I like, I don't think anyone was expecting like this kind of universe. But yeah, Iron Man got the one, like got started off at, I think that's, that's a reason I got to put it at S, man. It may not stand up there with like a lot of the other like comic book movies, maybe like the Dark Knight in quality, but it definitely is like, it started a universe pretty much. It started the MCU, so I got to put it there. So let's go to Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, we got Chris Pratt. Everyone, everyone's favorite Chris. <laughs> everyone's favorite Chris. If you go by Twitter. If you go by social media, everybody's favorite Chris. <laughs> but yeah, I like Chris Pratt. He's cool. I mean, I like, I don't want to like get into other things that are controversial, but when he's on screen, he's cool. So yeah, so, and Guardians of the Galaxy was cool. I mean, no one knew who like the Guardians of the Galaxy were pretty much, unless you were a Marvel nut in, like from the comics. So yeah, so yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy was like a surprise hit. I mean, you got a talking raccoon. And a walking talking tree that only speaks three words. <laughs> I am Groot. I mean, this is good. This is like really good. It was really fun. I mean, the sound deck was great. And yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy for me, not quite S, but I would go A. I know other people would probably call it like giving an S tier. For me, it's A. I just don't know, man. I don't know, like I'm like I'm kind of thinking maybe S. I don't know. Like, do I make a change? <laughs> Do I make a change here? I don't I don't think I want to. Ooh, I don't know. Now I'm gonna give A for now. Maybe I'll change my change my mind later. Ant-Man. I mean I love Paul Rudd. That's <laughs> Ant-Man. Ooh, Ant-Man, man. Ant-Man. Ant-Man's actually It could be my top ten. If I were to rank the my top ten MCU movies, it could be in my top ten. I'm not quite sure because I actually quite like it. Because it's, it's a little different. It's more of a heist movie. It's more of a smaller scale movie. I mean, no pun intended with Ant-Man, but... Yo, Ant-Man, I, I feel like Ant-Man, if... Oh, if there was a... If it was between A and B, if there was a like, spot between there, I'd put it there. Like, I, I would probably give it an, an A-. Like, I know people would put it at B. I, know, I feel like most people put it, put it, put it at B or C. But I really like Ant-Man. I like the first Ant-Man a lot. I feel like a lot of these movies are probably going to go in A. But we're going to Doctor Strange. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. He's one of my favorite actors even before Doctor Strange. Uh, I really loved him as Sherlock. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I want him as Doctor Strange. And when he got cast, I thought that was cool. That was cool. Benedict Cumberbatch. And I, I do like the movie. I do like the movie a lot. It's got um, definitely a lot of effects to it that like definitely haven't been seen in like a marvel movie it's like it's got inception vibes to it a little bit this one's also kind of a hard one but i think i'm gonna put this one in a also because i like benedict cumberbatch i like the movie gardens of the galaxy volume 2 do i want to go with this one right here so yeah so volume 2 Ooh, i'm just like i kind of enjoy it but it's not that great like her russell in it is good i like him as ego but uh i don't know just like guardians of galaxy volume 2 it's kind of it's kind of messy a little bit i mean it's got it's got some fun stuff to it it's got a good soundtrack like the first one but man i just 
feel like the script is a little bit like significantly or not significantly but it's definitely weaker than the first one so i gotta go garden to galaxy i'm gonna give it a c all right that's volume two volume two garden to galaxy i give a c spider-man homecoming it's it's enjoyable i like tom holland as spider-man he's not my favorite spider-man between the three of them he kind of meets in the middle for me like i mean um Tommy mcguire was i think he had a good peter parker and he had a good spider-man too and then we had um uh What's his name? Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. I think I liked his Spider-Man the best, but I didn't really quite like his Peter Parker because, uh, all right, because he's just like he looks like a model. He's too he's too good looking to be part of Peter Parker. I mean, not not taking away from Tom Holland, but I think um, Garfield just looks like a model, like too much like a model. So yeah, for Tom Holland, I think he meets in the middle. I like him as Peter Parker. Homecoming good. I like um, I like Michael Keenan as the villain, the Vulture. So yeah, I I think Spider-Man, I mean, getting him in the MC was cool too. So yeah, I think Spider-Man Homecoming is an A for me. Like, as I said, most of these are going to go in A. Thor Ragnarok. I think everybody might consider the best Thor movie. I for sure do. I think being in more of a comedy, comedy and Taika Waititi taking over, I think he brought his, like, his style he brought to Thor Ragnarok, I think really fit the movie. It really fit the tone. So I think Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, it's got a good soundtrack too. I mean, I think it's got it's a good, really good music to it. And I mean, it's not just like comedy. It's, there's a lot of dramatic beats to it too. I mean, even like late in the movie where he's um uh, he's fighting Hela and he's like, he's kind of talking to his father in more of like a dream state. I thought that was like a powerful moment. I thought, I mean, when Anthony Hopkins as Odin tells him like, like, was it i forgot what he said he said something like like you're not as strong as me you're stronger so yeah i thought that i thought i thought that was powerful oh man but where do i put it though thor ragnarok i want to say yes man but a i feel like oh man i feel like it'd be in between those because i like i feel like i can't put it to s but i feel like it's really like for me it's oh man i, I think i gotta put an a so yeah, so yeah, I'll give Thor Ragnarok an A. So let's go to Black Panther. Rest in peace to late Chadwick Boseman. He was also uh, one of my favorite actors with um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Even coming in to Black Panther, he was—I mean, he's was great. He was great as James Brown and Jackie Robinson. I mean, he was—he was a great actor. And I knew when he got cast and when he got announced that he was going to play T'Challa, the Black Panther. I thought. I, th I knew he was going to knock it out of the park. And then when he came into Civil War, he knocked it out of the park. And this movie, this movie, oh man, this movie fire, fired in all cylinders. I mean, when I came out of it, I was like, yo, Marvel's going for that Oscar. And they had like, of course, they've got nominated for an Oscar. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's great. I mean, Michael B. Jordan's great as Killmonger in the movie. I mean, I, I think everybody's great in it. I think it's a great story. Oh man, Black Panther. I feel like most people put A. I, for me, I love it. I think it's it's definitely my top five in my top five of MCU movies. I gotta go S. Black Panther is an S for me. I love Black Panther. I could watch it any day. Oops, don't want to see that. <laughs> Incredible Hulk. This is the first. I mean, this is not the first. I mean, there's like there's been other Hulk movies, but this is the one that's in the MCU. But it doesn't really feel like it's in the MCU because Edward Norton's a Hulk. And yeah, I mean, I think it was like, I kind of like it, but I feel like I'm not like, I don't have a desire to go back to watching it. It's not like, I don't know if it's on TV, maybe I'll watch it, but I'm just like, I don't know. I think because like there, it's another actor and Edward Norton's a great actor. I think him and Mark Ruffalo are both great actors, but it just, I don't know. I just don't. I just don't care for it that much like today. Oh man, I don't know. So yeah, where do I put it? I mean, oh, what's his name? Uh, William Hurt plays Ross, General Ross. He's like, he's the one tie-in from this movie. And there is that after credit scene with Tony Stark, but that doesn't make much sense. I I'm going to go D actually. I just, I just, just because I don't have a desire to watch anymore. I'm just going to put it at D. Like I still, 
kind of like it. I don't think it's a bad movie, but as far as MCU goes, I go D. First Ant-Man was an A for me. This one, this one, Ed, they made a lot, they made some improvements on it, on this, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, like with the effects. They had Evangeline Lilly come in as the Wasp. So yeah, they, like, I think they definitely had improvements from the first one. The one thing that wasn't improved though was the script. I think the script, the script for this one is significantly weaker. I mean, I don't know. I'm going in the ter like terms here <laughs> that people don't go over, but oh man, I just think the script's kind of weak in this one. I mean, it's a fun movie. It's a definitely a fun movie. Oh, what do I rank it though? I feel like I would rank it between C and D. Mm. But you know what? It's definitely my it's definitely towards the bottom of my MCU movie. If it, if I were to rank them all, it'd be definitely towards the bottom. And I do like Paul Rudd in it. I like Paul Rudd. I like Michael Douglas, Evangeline Lily. Uh I guess Michelle Pfeiffer when she comes in to the movie later. I mean, just not much of it. Oh man, I don't know. D do I go D? I think I'm going D. I like the movie Captain Marvel. I like Brie Larson. I'm not an incel. I shouldn't say it on Twitch. I'm dumbass. Like, why did I say that? <laughs> Don't say that. No one heard me, though. <laughs> no one heard me. Okay, Captain Marvel, though. Yo, Brie Larson. I think I like her as Captain Marvel. I know a lot of people... There's people that don't, and people don't like the movie. I don't know if that's because of the movie... But I don't know. <laughs> Could be, be, be about something else. Maybe comments. Like, I'm not quite sure. But I would say the movie's good. It's not like one of the best Marvel movies. But it definitely... It, it, I feel like it's mid-tier for me. I would say it goes B. Like, I like Captain Marvel. It's not... Yeah, definitely not the one of the best. But it's definitely, it's definitely good. I think it's a good movie. We got Spider-Man Far From Home. So... The weird thing about this movie, I feel like people were hyping it up. Like a lot of people were saying it was like the best Spider-Man movie. And I kind of got to let down. I think it's a good movie. I think it's a good movie. I think Spider-Man Far From Home is good. Tom Holland's good in it. You got Jake Gyllenhaal playing, playing Mysterio. He was good, even though... Even though we knew he's a villain because Mysterio is a villain. <laughs> not quite as good as Homecoming. And I'm definitely not going to say A. I don't think I don't think it's just like an A movie for me. I think it's a B for me. Oh, we got Iron Man 2 coming off the first Iron Man. I, I'm just like not a big fan of Iron Man 2. Like Mickey Rourke, I just, oh man, I, I kind of annoyed by him in this movie. My bud. Where is my bud? That's not my bud. <laughs> like him playing Whiplash. I don't know. Just like. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Oh man, I'm gonna go D. I'm just not like a big fan of Iron Man 2. I like, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is great as, I mean, uh, Tony Stark. I just think this movie is not that great and like, I don't know. Just, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. The first Thor movie, where we kind of got introduced as to Chris Hemsworth as Thor. And of course, Tom Middleton as Loki. Yeah, we're going to see Loki, baby. We're going to see Loki coming up. Can't wait to see how that does this week. So, yeah. So, Thor. I don't know. When I saw it, I really liked it. I feel like I've come down in it, like, since then. But I still think it's good. I, I still think it's good. The, like, the love story between um, Thor and um, uh, Nellie Portman. What's her name again? Jane? Jane. Yeah, Jane. She's coming back, though. She's coming back. But I think their love story is kind of weak i don't really care for it that much i don't know it just seemed it just seemed to me they were attracted to the, they were attracted to one another because they're both hot <laughs> i don't know just like that didn't it didn't i didn't really buy it that much but we'll see maybe she can come back in the next movie and be be good i don't think like will there be a love interest though because she's coming back to be lady thor i think i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be a multiverse thing but yeah we'll see so yeah, Thor though. Thor. Oh man, I don't know where to put it. I th I'm gonna go B. Thor's a B for me. I think it's good, but it's like not up there. It's not up there with the big boys. Now we got Captain America, the first Avenger, the first Captain America movie. So yeah, so Chris Evans, 
Yo, Chris Evans knocked out the park with, like, with, uh, um, he's knocked, he knocked out the park with Steve Rogers. So, yeah, so Captain America, the first Avenger. I'm not going to say it's up there with the big boys, but I'm going to say it's a B. I think it's a good movie. All right. Iron Man 3. Oh, man. This is, this movie's kind of controversial because the villain, uh, like, uh, the man, the, I was going to say the Mandalorian, the Mandarin, the fake Mandarin, played by Ben Kingsley, who was a great actor. And they decided to make him a fake Mandarin. <laughs> and then the dude, what's his name? I forgot his name in the movie. He was, um, you know, the one, the, one that says, the one that says, I'm the real Mandarin. But he's not. He's not even the Mandarin because they're going to have the Mandarin in the Shang-Chi movie. So, yeah. So, yeah. Iron Man 3. Yo, Iron Man 3, I don't hate it at all. I don't hate it. I actually kind of dig it. I, I dig the style even though it doesn't really fit in the MCU. Like, if I were, like, I feel like this movie and The Incredible Hulk, they're both movies that don't feel like they're part of the MCU. But I do, I like Iron Man 3. I kind of like it. But I don't think it's up there quite. I got to put it at C. Thor the Dark World is definitely towards the bottom of my list. Yeah, the villain of the movie is very forgettable. What's his name? Mal Malekith, I think. Yeah, Malekith. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of relevant though because like the storyline does kind of like with the fin Infinity Stone, the Reality Stone. Yeah, the Reality Stone. It it fits in with Endgame because they go back and that's when Thor goes back in time to see his mother, and they get the of course they get the ether from Jane and all that. But you know, it's Thor: The Dark World. Not like it's not for me. It's not that great. I would go D. Like, I mean, I think of all these movies, I I do kind of enjoy like some of these movies, even the D movies. But I just gotta admit, they're D movies. They're like, they're not that great, but I enjoy them still. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Yo, man. Yo, man. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. This is the Russo brothers' first movie in the MCU because they're like. They came off directing Community. I think episodes of Community. But I think when the trailers came out for this movie, um, I wasn't like, look, I wasn't looking forward to the movie. I, mean, I was looking forward to it because I was going to definitely see it. But I wasn't expecting anything great from it. Because I think I remember the trailers being kind of generic at it. Like they had generic music to it. But yo, when I saw it, it was, it was great. Captain America, like Captain America, the Winter Soldier. I think it might be my best, my favorite MCU movie because the story, the story is like, the story is, I mean, I think the story is great. Like they, I mean, the Russo, the Russo brothers directed it so well. Sebastian Stan coming in to play the Winter Soldier. And like, of course, Bucky, he wasn't the first Captain America, of course, but coming in to playing the villain, uh, the Winter Soldier in the first one. I mean, Robert Redford's in this one. I mean, yeah, Captain America. Captain America the Winter Soldier is a great movie. I think it's one of the best comic book movies. I, yeah, honestly, it's up there with me. It's up there with The Dark Knight. It's not like it's not better than Dark, The Dark Knight, but it's right there. It's right there with it. So yeah, as, that's as far as comic book movies go. So yeah, The Winter Soldier is an A for me, baby. Is you know, it's an S for me, baby. <laughs> not an A. It's an S. Captain Captain America the Winter Soldier is an S. So let's go. To WandaVision, the first MCU Disney Plus show, and WandaVision, yo, WandaVision was good. WandaVision was good. I mean, I really liked it. Even the first three episodes, I really liked. Even like, even them with like them being based off sitcoms. Even like the black and white, the first two episodes, I thought I thought were good. They they were different. It was like a different show. It was it was like a it was a different like um sort of thing that the Marvel has like done and they knew they had to do something different. So they got WandaVision and they made it really good. I mean, I feel like for the ending though, I think ending was like, I don't think it was, I don't think it was as good as I like thought it might be, but it was still solid. It was still a solid ending. Elizabeth Olsen. I mean, she's beautiful. Loved her, loved her in it. Paul Bettany has vision throughout the MC movies. I think he's been really good. I love like Paul Bettany is like, really great. I mean, uh, oh man. What was her name again? Why am I forgetting her name? Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn playing, um, why am I forgetting her name? I'm having a brain fart. 
But yeah, overall, WandaVision, I think the cast did a good job. I think it was like a, I think it was directed well. And I think it was written pretty well throughout like throughout the episodes. So for me, WandaVision goes in the A tier. I like WandaVision. <laughs> not listed on here is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So yeah, it's not on here. But yeah, I'm also going to put it as an A. I don't think it's as good as WandaVision, but I think it was solid. I think it was, I think Anthony Mackie was great in it. And I thought um, Sebastian Stan was really good in it. The storyline was good. I mean, Wyatt Russell was good as, uh, what's his face? Um, US agent. I forgot his name. I forgot his alter ego name. <laughs> yeah, but I thought he was good. Avengers Age of Ultron. The second Avengers movie. Where would I put this one? Yo, I like Avengers Age of Ultron. I do. I like it. But it's not quite as good as the first Avengers movie. And even like the ending. I think the ending is kind of like... The ending is kind of a copy and paste. <laughs> just change out... Like, just change out Loki and the Chitauri with Ultron and all the Ultrons, I guess. <laughs> all the Ultron robots. So yeah, Avengers Age of Ultron. Yo, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's a good movie. I mean, we got to introduce the uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision in it. Paul Benny, Elizabeth Olsen in it. Uh, and of course, uh, the Quicksilver, of course. Aaron Taylor Johnson. There we go. Aaron Taylor Johnson. I was forgetting his name too, but yeah, it was Aaron Taylor, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, Quicksilver, who I kind of wish made an appearance in WandaVision. That, that would have been cool. But yeah, Avengers Age of Ultron is a B for me. Like, not quite as good as any of these movies. And definitely not quite as good as the other Avengers movies. Yeah, Captain America Civil War. This is great. I mean, I don't know what how much I could say about this movie. <laughs> it was great. I mean, I think the acting for in this movie, out of any MCU movie, I think the acting's really good around the like like all the MCU movies. I think this one is top tier, especially with Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. I think they're they both knocked out of the park with this one. I think they they brought their A plus games. You know, let's just say they brought their S games here in this movie. Like I would say they brought it pretty much for most of the Marvel movies. But this one, they just like I think the conflict between them and the air the airport scene, like that was great. I mean, that was like I mean it was basically a comic book brought to life. <laughs> so yeah, so it was a really good movie. Ending was great. And I think this one definitely an S tier for me. One of my favorites. The original Avengers movie down here. Oh man. I mean, looking back at it, maybe not as good as the latest Avengers movies. But it started the thing off. It started the thing off because... Like, I don't think anyone imagined an Avengers movie. Not even when, like, Iron Man came out. <laughs> but when they all started coming out, when Thor came out, when Captain America came out. Yeah, we were like, okay, they're, they got planned an Avengers movie. Let's hope it works. And it worked, baby. I mean, Loki is the villain coming off of Thor. I mean, it all worked. Oh, man. Avengers, for me, is going to go... S tier. All right, let's get the final two, baby. Avengers Infinity War. I mean, I don't know. There's not much I could say about either. Like, either of these movies, that's, like, going to be new because both these were great. Both Infinity War and Endgame were great. I mean, I treat it as one movie almost. I mean, there's a two-parter. Like, I don't know. Like, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm just going to put them together. I'm just going to put them together because I, like, they were great. Like, I think Infinity War was, like, non-stop action. It was great. Endgame was great. I mean, yeah, not much to say about it. I think the Russo brothers directed it well. Everybody. All the actors brought their A-game to it. And it was a, it was an emotional ending to Endgame. So, yeah. So, I would, I would definitely give Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah, I'm dubbing up him in S-tier. I don't know which is better though. Which one I'd say is better? I think I kind of like Endgame more, but like I think it's just like a smidge more. I think it's like Endgame is like right here, Infinity War is like right here, right next to it. So yeah, but I treat it as one movie. And the Russo brothers, I mean the Russo brothers, man, they're kings of the MCU. <laughs> Credit to them for bringing these movies to life. They were 
Like they were great. So yeah, that's my that's my MCU tier list for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you agree with me. But yeah, you can also tell me in the comments section where you'd rank each movie and if you agree at all with my my rankings here, my tier list here, because I know everybody is not gonna agree. There's so many movies that like I mean everybody has a different tier list. Everyone has a different ranking and everyone has different opinions on these movies. So yeah, this is just my opinion of where each movie ranks on my tier list. So yeah, like drop it down in the comments. What do you think about it and where you'd rank these movies also? So yeah, I'm glad you clicked this video and I'll definitely be playing more Apex because I've been playing a lot of Apex lately on this channel. So yeah, so stay tuned for that still. I just wanted to have something different on this channel. And yeah, maybe I'll do Apex tier list later on. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. And hey, until next time, I'll see you folks later. Reindeer out.